Hello guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel and I go by the name East Coast Prince. And today, man, today, 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 we have another one coming up and we have another thing we are talking about and this one is David Doe. Our guy David Doe is in the news again for a controversy and this one is really, really messy. And guys, man, it's really messy. My OBO, our idolo, I don't know how... Tati BG can come out of this, but we, sh we trust David Dusha. He's the kind of guy that knows how to come out of controversies, regardless of how messy they get. But man, David Dewey, you and these Oibo girls, you and these black American ladies, man, I think you need to do better with them. So, yes, without further ado, guys, let's let's go. Let's go. The best of the best, East Coast Springs. I know it's better than the rest. East Coast Springs, the rapping no one contest. East Coast Springs. All right, so talking about David Doe and talking about this messy controversy that he's in, apparently there was a picture that was going around yesterday of um, a lady, David Doe, and a lady being all cozied up online. And this one is really, uh, it, was a, it was a picture that really got a lot of eyes. And there was there was a um, there was a there was a handle that was tagged on the picture and people went to the handle and went to go and be dragging the lady apparently it wasn't the lady in that it wasn't the lady's handle the lady that was in the picture it wasn't her handle and what happened was that the lady that they were dragging now was a friend of the real lady that was in the picture and guess what that lady didn't handle it well at all so it caused an opera and this lady and this lady went and posted a video that video is the most is the most controversial state i've seen our obo in um we saw the video crying bitterly guys let me just let me let me leave my audio watch the video So what I heard the video saying here is I'm on my knees, I'm on my knees, I'm on my knees. That's what I heard the video saying here. I'm on my knees, I'm on my knees, I'm on my knees. And this lady posted this video. I, I don't know who told her to post it or what she was thinking when she posted it. Apparently she couldn't handle the heat that she was getting from a lot of Tati BG fans that went on her page and they were dragging her. So she decided to post this particular video. And um, yeah, the person who took the shots, the friend in question that was actually the person that was having any entanglement with Davido, now came out to speak. And guys, let's watch. Long story short, your girl went to the club last night. Uh, while I'm at the club, I call Bonita or whatever. We have this spiritual number. You guys know I've been on a spiritual journey. I spiritual number what spiritual number she has a spiritual number she has been on the spiritual journey man these ladies i can't relate i can't relate let's go with tag her and i'm like bonita what i did not know because i'm not paying attention i'm drunk i'm wearing my little chanel sunglasses i'm lit in the side top box apple has started putting pictures up there from your camera roll and there was a picture of me and devito and this is my friend that I've known for four plus years. Okay. Okay. Um, I end up going home, going to sleep. I'm out. Okay. Knocked out. Your girl's tired. I wake up to Bonita and my other friend blowing my phone up. They're like, Courtney, why are all these African people tagging me, talking crazy to me? I'm like, what? So I go look and I see that the picture has been, been posted on a couple of blogs, right? I tell them, y'all, I'm going back to sleep. I'll handle it later because I deal with being posted on the internet. I've dealt with it before. You ignore it, okay. it don't go nowhere. It gets posted, it's gone in 24 hours. Nobody cares, okay? So I'm telling them just leave it alone. Now, my friend Bonita and my other friend, they aren't, they've never been in a social media scandal or issue, right? And like I told y'all, Bonita is not to be played with so bonita in question is the one that leaked out that video the video we saw our oga our idolo our obio kneeling down and crying that he's on his knees man yeah our alpha male so what it is and um yeah she's the one saying that bonita is the one that said not to be the not to be messed with then i found concerned the, the video has not really been dealing well with these ladies especially these black american girls man he, he doesn't understand how they move 
So she has all these random people on her page her out, calling her out of her name, just going. So I told her, I said, if you want to DM with people and argue all day, go ahead. But do not post nothing. Okay. Okay. This man has a fan base the size of the world. He's worldwide. Okay. I'm like, do not post nothing on your page. This is what I said. Okay. I lay back down. I go back to sleep. I wake up to my phone ringing again and it's them. They're like, these people are harassing me. Da, 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 da. I said, look, when I wake up, I will make a statement. I will let them know my hunger. I just tagged her in it because the numbers, you know, I was calling her what the time was, whatever. Okay. I was out. I was drunk. But my homegirl is not me, has nothing to do with me. That is me in the picture, right? I was going to clarify that. But, of course, because Bonita don't play, she's online defending herself, going back and forth with everybody, okay? And she's like, they want to troll? I'm a troll, too. So, mind you, there is a video, okay, that I had sent to my group message, right? It's a group message of three of us, okay? And these are people I've known for a very long time. And it's not funny now. But we did laugh about it at one point because the veto is dramatic. You know what she said? We laughed about it at one point because the veto is dramatic. So she's even our own opinion of the video. They jested on the video and they laughed about the video. She actually had a private video of the video. And that video she shared it to more ladies and they had their gossip group apparently. And these girls laughed at the video. Hmm, said the video is dramatic. Usually, um, artists, when they have this kind of controversial videos and these ladies have this, their kind of content, the best thing to do is to beg these ladies to take it out or sign an NDA agreement, pay them off, sign something. If you feel like it's going to dent your image, if it's that bad. Um, for, but to be honest, this is almost a whole day since this video came out. At least from the time I'm reacting to since when the video came out, it's almost a day. And the buzz of it is already dying down. So I think the video knows that um, he will be able to handle the heat when it comes. And it's not today. The video is like a constant guy that people talk about and people troll online. So he can handle the heat. But even in handling it, he has to understand that he has a family. And somehow, somehow, Choma's name is always being mentioned anytime it's relates to Davido and baby mama and girlfriend cheating controversy Choma's name is being mentioned um i don't know how active Choma is online and how it affects her but i think she is also handling it very well because the best thing to do in this period uh, at this point is to stay offline and just be quiet and eventually something else will come and take the place at its own time you know news die out fast and other news come and replace it but let's go let's 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 continue okay i'm not gonna speak on the video i'm not gonna speak of the context of the video i'm not gonna speak of what the video even was about okay but bonita i told her you can dm people all you want to do not post nothing okay i did not give no permission for nothing to be posted at this point i haven't even re i haven't replied i haven't reacted i haven't said nothing my lips are closed your girl is asleep because i know if i just put my phone on charge and go to sleep when i wake up i might have a bunch of comments but it would have died down you know that's how it usually works so bonita ends up posting this video it's on there 30 seconds because as soon as i get the notification i call her i'm like why would why would you post that take it down right now immediately i i didn't say you could do that i don't support that why would you do that she's like well they're trolling so i'm trolling and I tell her, I said, well, Bonita, you might think you're trolling, but what it looks like is that you're inserting yourself more into a situation because I told her all you really had to do was say, that's not me in the picture. My homegirl just tagged me because we have a number situation and a phone call type when we're drunk situation. Okay. But of course, Bonita trolling, going back and forth. She posts the video, right? Bonita has never met this man, seen this man, been around this man in any context okay at all right and i had told her i said the picture was one thing you posting that video opens up a whole nother door that i'm not ready for nobody's ready for i don't want to deal with it i don't want to talk about it at all 
So therefore, why would you do that? And I told you, do not post nothing, okay? Granted, when someone on social media and they're not used to it, they'll feel the need to defend themselves. I can give her that. But that video was something personal. It was something emotional that shouldn't have been posted at all. I don't support it. I don't approve of it. And I never gave permission for it to be posted. Okay? So now at this point, another friend had commented, and I want to apologize on behalf of that. She called all the Africans roaches. And I don't approve of that message either. As you can see, I did not comment or say anything probably until an hour or two ago. Well, these ladies, I, I don't know, these black, black American ladies, you know, they just use words, the way they use their words anyhow, even though we Africans or we Nigerians, because they just address everybody as Africans, but we Nigerians, some things don't get to us, you know, it's this, it's this modern day stuff that's little words are now triggering, but all those things we are used to getting all those kind of words well man it's it doesn't justify it in any way they shouldn't be using such such words it's trying to it's almost like sounding like you know that kind of thing but then anyway, let's go okay until the end of the day because i had nothing to say i'm i made a mistake i posted something i didn't intentionally mean to post and i just wanted it to go away so at this point Everyone's messaging me. They're talking crazy to me. Come and call me B, H's, all types of stuff, okay? I did not know that this man was married. Anytime that I was ever around DeVito, it was for one or two things, okay? And it's because I'm either styling him for an event, because that's what I do. I also help guys. I style people. So the thing about DeVito is, I don't know, this is the second lady saying it. It's a second black American lady saying that she doesn't know that DeVito is married she doesn't know that davido is married or she did not know that davido is married as at the time when they were having those photos and i, I almost feel like davido lives a double identity a double kind of lifestyle where abroad is davido the single guy then when he's back home is the family oriented davido married to choma type thing so maybe that's the story that he just tells these ladies when he meets them for the first time he doesn't tell them about the fact that he already has a wife and he has a full family so but anyway is an entertainer one of the a-list artists and that's one of those a-list a-list artists and that so cheating for them is not justified but it's it's kind of like it's the norm for these celebrities that are there that can easily have access to these ladies the ladies flock around them and they flock around these ladies so i'm not surprised that he's cheating to be honest i'm not surprised and i and i'm sure shoma too is not going to be surprised if she hears that they do is cheating on her Come on, she knew the kind of person she was getting married to. She understands the entertainment industry and she understands the pressure from ladies to these guys, especially when they are young, handsome, vibrant, successful, and famous. And they are one of the 1% of the 1%. That's the video, man. So, but anyway, let's go back to the video. Okay, whether it's athletes, whether it's rappers, anyway, I, I'll go to the mall and I'll put you something together, okay? I will. I do that or another thing is I would help him with bookings so whenever he would come into Atlanta I know all the club owners I would call around hey the Beatles gonna be in town do y'all want to book him for a night and you know that's another way that I was able to make money I would book him somewhere I would make of course a percentage for booking him and that's it right so at this point I have never seen a wife um, I had only ever seen a baby mama, to be honest, yeah. ever. And I knew he had multiple baby mamas, but I didn't care because it wasn't my business to ask. I never thought to ask, hey, are you married? Because it, it never crossed my mind. So now I'm being on social media and it's like I'm just being perceived in a way that I don't like because I am not a person who's going to destroy somebody's energy. I'm not going to post something that's embarrassing that I know will hurt somebody's feelings. And I just don't like that because this is a friendship that I've built the last four or five years. Okay. We're locked in. We don't really, he don't care about me posting. He don't care about me taking pictures because we have nothing to hide. Okay. 
and of course the media is gonna screw stuff up how they want to but i have been dealing with this all day all mother day okay so right now what i want to say is that i didn't post the video i didn't give permission for that video to be posted i do not want to speak on the contents of the video or where it came from or what it was about because i just don't want to and i don't have to period point blank um me and DeVito are still friends. He understands that I made a mistake. I was drunk. Um, he understands that even with the video, I didn't have control over that. And I made it very clear that I did not want nothing posted. So, first of all, she said even with the video, she has no control over that. My dear, the first mistake you made was sharing that video to, the, to your ladies. That was the first mistake. In the moment the video left your hands and the hand went to the hands of other people, lost control of it and the choice was yours control the way that video circulated so of course you have to take some level of accountability because at the end of the day it's our fault she was the one who, who shot the video or she was the one who had the video so she's saying that um, she had no control that's i don't i don't buy that i i don't buy that but anyway yeah let's listen to our roundup before we do our own roundup here but they had made their own adult decision to do that while i was asleep okay i woke up to this y'all all right so she has come up to say that she's not responsible for any of the things that went that leaked out you know aside the fact that uh, she's not responsible for the video that leaked out aside the picture that was posted because she was drunk and high and she didn't know how it went yeah so but that aside this video is really i know the video is already the vibe of the video is already um dying down but this is an ammunition for other for other fcs the the whiskey fcs and the king kong the boner boy outsiders fcs you know those guys they can call for 30 bg anyhow because now they have a video to use to troll so how can 30 bg support the video that is the video of my guy of our obu kneeling down and, and crying that he's on his knees man it's it's embarrassing it's 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 embarrassing i can't just help people say the truth it's actually embarrassing and the truth is that because of the level of um the level of 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 stardom that the video has is not going to affect his career in any way he will still have his fans he'll still have his endorsement deals he'll still have whatever he needs to have because he is actually one of the biggest if not the biggest like talking about the biggest if not the biggest in africa look at what the video said meanwhile this video was out the video ignored the video and he went to sway in the morning and this is what he said when he was asked about being the top three when you walked in i called you um the big three yes, africa's big three you Wiz, and burner boy what's america's big three i'm playing <laughs> <laughs> don't get us started again bro <laughs> all right you feel like y'all the big three just on the planet i'm big me Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, all right when you walked in I like the fact that it took it took um, an excerpt from Kendrick Lamar's notes, and he said, "I'm big me," and yeah, it was a good response. It was a good response, of course. He acknowledges um, Whiskey as a friend, Burner Boy not so much as a friend, but yeah, he, he just came here and said, "It's big me," and I don't know if this was strategic to give people something else to talk about so that their eyes can leave the video. And I have a new topic to discuss. Um, I don't know if it was strategic, strategic or the video was just being the video and just replied that at that time. But anyway, let us know if I dig into that. And let's go back to the video. And this is baby mama's issues. So aside Anita, Anita's time passed. You know, she told us about she was pregnant for the video and how to take out the pregnancy because she didn't want to be involved in anything too complex with the video and his drama. So and now this lady and um yeah so i just feel david should be more careful when handling all these ladies i think you should be more careful when handling them and uh if possible take a little bit of or just take advice from all these young guys and how they handle mama drama kai sinat had a controversy recently and the, the man said it all the ladies he forces them to sign an nda 
before they do anything with him so that if they leak out any of their private stuff he can sue them legally and i think david should take that route to get ndas you know when you want to run anything with these ladies they have illegal stuff it doesn't have to be that deep but come on tell them no content should go out that is not approved by me you know that kind of thing so that you will not be entering this this drama we don't like it uh, our 30 bg we, we don't like it yeah. come on david you can do I believe you can do better in that aspect anyway that's that's my take on this tell me what you think about this tell me what you think when you saw the video if you haven't seen it tell me how this content was for you i'll go by the name is Coast prince i'll see you on the next one and with that being said my people peace